Hi, I am Kevin Selman, and in this video, I will show you how to reference your X and Z axis on an S33 Studer. Okay, so the first thing we want to do to reference our axis, we need to first know where our alignment marks are to reference each X and on the Z axis. So, to look in the side of the machine, we want to see the rear of the X, which is on the rear right side, and the rear of the Z axis, which is also going to be on the rear right side. Um, you can get access to it through the back of the door. You can open the door, actually look on the side of the X and then look forward to the Z if you need a better view to see that. But then you'll need to close the doors because we're coming to the front of the machine now. And we want to close the doors before we can now power on the machine. Without closing the doors, the machine will not start up. So. Okay. So once we have the machine axes are ready to go. We should be able to now jog our axis. On our handheld unit we want to be in our, our hand mode and we want to have our x-axis selected. We're going to start with the x-axis first. We want to actually jog the x towards the rear so we can get it as close to the alignment mark as possible. On the x-axis when you move it backwards you're going to you move it as close as you can and you're going to stop, walk around the back of the machine, open the door, look at the mark, and you'll have to come back to the front to move the machine again. You cannot move the axis with the back door closed. So let's do that right now. I'm going to move this forward. Next. Okay. And we're going to repeat the same steps for the Z axis. Remove it to the plus direction until we get to the, the line marks. And both axes are always in the plus. You move X and plus and Z and plus as well. Now, so now once we have our axes in the position we want, the next screen we'll be focusing on is actually on the console itself. So we're going to be looking only on the Studer Wins screen. And at this screen, we want to be in the FANUC display function. So we're going to hit the control and the aux button on the keyboard. And we're going to look for what's called CNC screen display function. And once we get it here, we're now inside the FANUC control screen. So once we're in, in this screen, what we want to look for is the parameter right value so that we can change a parameter. Um, which by doing that, we look on the keyboard, the offset setting card key. You press that once. And then on the screen, you have a soft key that says setting. You want to press that. And on this screen, now you want to look for parameter right. If you have this highlighted, you can uh, select this value and make sure that it says 1 or enable. And also, you should be in MDI mode. You cannot change a parameter unless the mode's in MDI. So now we want to have, uh, select 1, enable. So now our parameter right is enabled. Now we can go to the parameter, which we want to hit system hard key. Then we want to do parameter soft key on the screen. Here we can type in the number 1815 and then use the soft key on the screen that says number search. In this screen, you have the X and Z axis, and we only are going to focus on the APC and the APZ columns. So what we want to do is change the APC and the APZ on both axes to a zero. Do that now. Once we've done that, now go back to the X axis for the APC. We we'll change this to a one. Okay. And once we've done this, we now need to reset the FANUC control, essentially rebooting the system. And to do this, there is a button behind the screen um, on the very back of the panel. It's right next to where your handheld unit will plug in. There's a blue button. You can press that. Just press once, let go. Now, if you do get a message on your screen, some of your machines may have this little newer style. It says cancel to shut down. If you want to select that, this is a battery backup feature that will shut down Windows automatically. We do not want that to happen. Um, 
You want to give it approximately 30 seconds to about a minute. Let the, let the control reboot. Once we've waited this time frame, you can then once again turn on the energy to the machine. And now we want to go into the control and aux button on the keyboard. We want to go back to the bandit control. We're basically repeating the steps we did uh, just a, little, a few steps ago. So we need to go back to the same parameters, 1815. We're going to hit again the system hard key, parameter soft key, and we want 1815 as our parameter, 1815, then use the number search key. Now, if you go over to the APZ column, and on the X and the Z axis, we want to now put a 1 for the X and a 1 for the Z. Once that's done, now once again we want to press this blue button, which will reset the control panel, repeating that same step, and also again canceling this uh, shutdown screen so we don't have our computer shut down on us. Again, wait about 30 seconds to maybe one minute. Let it uh, let the machine boot. Another another thing you can do is on your screen if you see all these lights flashing very very quickly. When his lights flash quickly, that usually means the panic has been rebooted, and then you can power on the machine at that point. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're ready to go. I'm going to press the reset button a couple times to clear out any alarms I may have. Press the energy button, see if our machine turns on, and it does. Okay. Now you want to go and check your message screen. You should see that you have zero alarms. If you do have an over travel alarm, you can move your Z axis in the jog mode like we did earlier, or X axis, either one. In this case, I have a Z axis over travel. I will move in the minus direction and then try and reset this alarm. Because I, maybe sometimes you reference it, it's, it's stuck on a uh, right at the limit and you get this alarm. Now we have no alarms. So our machine has been referenced and uh, we are good to go. So that is the procedure we would do for referencing the X and the Z axis. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any further questions, you can contact us, United Grinding Customer Care.